Hi friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. Friends, today I am going to discuss about MGCP, Media Gateway Control Protocol. Why this protocol is required? What is the use of this protocol? And how the Media Gateway, Media Controlling is done by the MGCP? I am going to give a description about this today with the flow and with the architecture how it looks like how mgcp works and what is the use of mgcp in sectron applications so i will be describing this in details today so friends before starting let's uh, check this first uh, here i have uploaded here is my channel i have uploaded few more videos related to ss7 and sectron and these are very much related to this uh, video so i recommend Comment you to check these videos first so friends let's start today's topic so M mgcp stands for media gateway control protocol it represents a protocol that can be used to handle the components of decomposed of media gateway so basically this uh, media gateway control protocol is used to handle the media gateway it controls the media gateway like it controls the redundancy it controls the various functions various features of the media gateway so this media gateway control protocol uh, is used for these purposes so here you can see that various endpoints like digital channel analog line announcement server access point interactive voice response etc and conference bridge packet relay so all these endpoints can be handled with the media gateway control protocol so this control protocol is used for various purposes so let's see what is the use of this uh, mgcp in with the architectural diagram so basically when you <clears throat> establish a call you have a signaling gateway and you have a media gateway so signaling gateway most, mainly controls the signaling like uh, im acm anm so if you take an example of a uh, signaling gateway so here is a signaling gateway uh, so uh, think like it's an uh, signaling gateway where you are getting the signals but how the media will flow through so the media will flow through another server which is called media gateway so this media gateway control is done by the mgcp media gateway controller protocol it it sends various commands to establish the media connection then the media stream flow so all these are handled by the media gateway controller protocol so here you see a diagram where you have a cisco where you have a call manager and you have your gateways here is a media gateway controller so the, what it does is uh, whenever a call establishes it sends some commands to media gateway controller to control this media with these uh, endpoints so basically this media gateway controller gets the comments from the call manager and it controls the media of uh, the media gateways like various media gateways can connect to these media gateway controllers like ipwn gateway pstn gateway so the endpoints uh, media will flow media establishment is controlled by the media gateway controller so here is the flow what happens when a <clears throat> what is the various uh, commands that are exchanged between gateways so here is an mgcp so you have a gateway one gateway two and if you want to establish a connection so what are the various uh, messages exchanged so basically this is called uh, media gateway controller protocol so this is one server and these are gateway servers so what happens is it creates a connection whenever it dials a number whenever a signaling establishes before sending a signal it creates a connection with the media gateway first then it uh, modifies mdcx which is called crcx then it modifies the connection when the 200 ok response comes then the conversation between two gateway starts so basically this is a uh, middle person who establishes connections with two diff multiple media gateways so it controls the redundancy as well media gateway redundancy also controlled by this media uh, media gateway controller protocol so basically this uh, create connection i will be describing it this flow in uh, with the wireshark in next section so uh, this crcx this modify connection so what are the meaning of these connections so once the uh, once the 
call is uh, disconnected then it disconnects the media connection like it is called dlcx delete connections so it deletes the connections uh, established connection so the port get closed in respective media gateways so basically these are the comments which are useful for uh, which uh, media gateway controller protocol uses so here is a media gateway wise uh, a diagram architectural diagram where two endpoints are there and they are connected to two different media gateways so this media gateway controller is in between so its media gateway sends the uh, request whenever any uh, whenever any uh, call establishes from signaling gateway uh, this media gateway sends the request so accordingly it creates the connection with the second media gateway and all this happens modify connection happens then the establish then the call established voice established between two endpoints so before going to discuss about this uh, sectron what is the requirement of mgcp let's see an example uh, where should trace uh, so here i have captured a trace where uh, we have a uh, isop gateway isop signaling gateway and we have connected with the uh, mgcp media gateway controller protocol and how it works so let's see here so here i have received a uh, it's over sectron so it's m m2 pa connection so i received an im message over uh, ip to my uh, signaling gateway so what i did is from my signaling gateway i sent a crcx request to my media gateway controller protocol so how this crcx looks like so here are the parameters here i have send the kick number then the uh, connection information what are the connection information so this is like which uh, uh, which codec it uses for this im message so these are the information is passed to the media gateway controller protocol mgcp then uh, then i receive the response uh, 200 okay with the stp so these are the details provided by the two end endpoint connection details are provided so this then it uh, modify connection details then uh, acm received so these are the modify connection request is sent to the media gateway controller protocol so what are the changes and all these are informed to the mgcp with the stp details then the acm received and the call establishes and the media establishes between two endpoints so then here you can see that the uh, release is received and dlcs dlcx is sent so the media gateway controller sends the dlcx connection where it uh, releases the connection so same uh, circuit it re releases the media connection so this is the use case so if you see it's a sectron application uh, sectron signaling gateway here so if you see it uh, in a diagram so what we see here is uh, sectron basically it's a signaling gateway so only the signaling passes over this gateway so how the media will establish so these soft switches communicates with the mgcp to establish the media connection with the uh, PSTN providers so this is where the mgcp comes so the signaling happens through m3ua m2pa or m2ua connection but the media establishes through mgcp connection to the media gateway so this is where mgcp is used media gateway controller protocol so i will be giving more description all the protocols how the sdp is used how the sdp is formatted how the dlcx message comes and how to handle this dlcx message so <clears> hit <throat> mdcx message so this i will be describing in my next video so this is all about overview of this mgcp protocols so friends thanks for watching and if you like this video don't forget to subscribe to my channel and share my videos as well so you can subscribe here uh, so if i will upload new videos you will get notification friends
Uh, so here I have uploaded few more videos related to C Web RTP, SS7, C C plus plus offensives, then C uh, C P traffic testing tool related video, S M P P and S M S C related video and Web R T C related videos. So friends, if you are interested, you can view these videos as well. These are all protocol level videos. So friends, thanks for watching.